Hey, so this is going to be an easy, quick glam tutorial. So right away, I'm just going to go in with my No Pore Blim Primer by Touch and Soul. And then I'm going to go in with my Matte and Poreless Fit Me Maybelline Foundation. Just going to put that all over and blend it all in normally. So I have certain parts on my chin that they just, they come out every day. No matter what I do, I've tried so many products. And no matter what I do, I guess my hormonal acne is pretty strong. I went to a dermatologist once and, I don't know, they prescribed me something and it, it involved pills and I don't feel comfortable taking this. I just stopped going back to that dermatologist, but I didn't look for another one. So if you're having trouble with acne and you went to one dermatologist or something isn't working, I encourage you to keep on looking for more. So that's what I'm definitely gonna do. Uh, I'm definitely gonna look for another dermatologist, one that can, you know, Maybe give me a few recommendations on what to do, except for just one recommendation. If they give me, once again, just one recommendation, I guess I will have to try to go with it. Because it is frustrating waking up every day, finding a new pimple, or expecting a new pimple and, you know, having it. So for concealer, I like mixing two Urban Decay's Naked Skin and NYX Cosmetics HD Studio. I don't know, does anybody else have that struggle? I swear, my friends, like, they're all, like, super, super light. So they just pick the lightest one out of the bunch and they're good to go. Me, on the other hand, it's a tad bit different. I did my makeup for airline, airline work. I was kind of in a rush because I really was going to work afterwards. I was just, like... I was cutting clothes on time. I was like, of course it would be me, you know. I never want to make a YouTube video. I'm always overthinking it. I'm just like, oh, what's the point? Like, you know, I don't have anything. But I don't know what came over me. I was just like, all right, I'm gonna just do it and then go to work. But I didn't keep track of time, so I was kind of, I was kind of cutting it close because I was a little bit distracted. And so my eyebrows in that video, it came out really bad. I was just looking at it and I was like, oh god, what is wrong with you? Now that I have time, I don't have to go to work later, so I can do my eyebrows the way I would normally want to do it you know, take my time out and get it right. So real quickly, this is Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I really liked it, but it smelled kind of weird to be honest. Now that I have time to do my brows, I use, I was running low on my Anastasia Beverly Hill Rose Brow. I usually use that. I found Essence. So I'm using number two brown. Let's do it. Just a little bit. So everyone has a specific way of doing their brows. Mine is a really simple. I kind of like go through it, I brush it out, go through it again, and then I put concealer to carve it out. And then later on, I take a darker color, usually Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade, and I go in deeper and I make the ends darker. I like that gradient effect, light to dark eyebrows. At this point, I'm just taking time with my brows, you know, just perfecting it. I later go on with a denser brush and smooth out all the concealer that I have put on. And then I lay a layer coat of soft ochre paint pot on my lids to get it started. So I'm first going to take Buttery from Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, put that all over my lid. Then I'm going in with Melt Cosmetics Blur from the Dark Matter stack and I'm going to put that in the mid of my crease, right in the middle. Next I'm going to go in with Manny Makeup Artist and Makeup Geeks Palette and go in with Luna, my favorite. Back again with Blur to just kind of, you know, blend it out and everything. After I'm done, I'm going to go back to the Artist Palette and pick out Dusty Rose. And I'm just going to concentrate this mainly at the end, kind of like that outer V shape. Then I'm going to go back to the Manny Makeup Artist Palette and I'm going to pick up Artemis. And I'm going to just use that as a highlight mainly. And then I'm going to brace myself for the hardest part. I wish I had skills like um, Jaylin from YouTube. Yo, she just be like, one, and then psh, done over here struggling like I have to hold my breath when I do my eyeliner sometimes all right so when one comes out okay now I have to pray to God that the other one comes out just as well let's see how this turns out Bye. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna put the mad lash from the bomb
case I'm going to be blinded by the light for a second and then I'm going to continue just taking off my smooth operator Amazonian clay finishing powder that I had put on earlier. When I'm done with that I'm going to start putting on my wispy lashes by Ardell. I saw like one YouTube video of like how to make YouTube videos. And uh, this isn't coming out. Really not coming out. Look. And then I, oh. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure have some now. For sure. To take this cover effects and 60 kind of just buff it all over into my face I'm definitely doing it more in like a like a bronzy thing like a almost like contouring you know just to give my face a little bit more color because I do have so much trouble getting my perfect color in so now we're on to the best part the glow kit Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm taking sun dip and I'm taking moonstone I love Moonstone, it's so pretty. I mean, they're all pretty, but... Just Moonstone gets to me on a different level. And I'm just gonna pack it on there. And... Uh, uh, taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Peach Nectar Illuminator. That could be a nice little highlight, but at the same time blush. So now I'm gonna go in with NYX Natural. Natural. And then I'm taking Kylie's Dolce. Okay, Dolce K. I didn't know you were supposed to shake it, but I saw Jeffree Star shake it. So if Jeffree Star does, I do. Simple as that. He went on tour like a like a makeup like a makeup class thing and when he came into Philadelphia I was like I'm there I'm there he was so nice and uh, he gave out free liquid lipstick at his uh, seminar and I have it somewhere with oh speaking of the devil blue velvet this is the finished look it's really easy and simple if it was ever really hard i would never be able to do it i'm not like one of those skilled makeup artists <laughs> like i'm still kind of learning along the way but these are just like easy style anybody could do it i mean anybody because i'm like i said i'm not that skilled so i hope those of you who watched it like it hopefully i'll be getting better at this at makeup Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Bye. <laughs> Subscribe to my human, please.